Imagine waking up one day, going about your life as usual. You brush your teeth, get ready for school, catch up on the news. Everything is normal, only for the whole world to turn on its head. Now we move on to the coronavirus. The latest speakers, the total number of people infected is rising to 68,000 in the blink of an eye, you go from worrying about your late project due two days prior into a frantic state fearing for the lives of your loved ones. All due to a single virus. It sounds like a cheesy Hollywood film, but as fate would have it, it's a nightmare we have all been living for the past five months. No matter who we are, where we're from, one thing we all have in common is that we're fighting this unforgiving virus. Coronavirus, COVID-19, sars 2 covid Whatever you call it, the fact remains that it's swept up under our noses, killing hundreds and thousands of people all around the world. With no vaccine in sight for the near future, we're left hiding in our homes hoping we don't get infected. The whole world is in a state of lockdown. We've seen our loved ones who were fine just a few days ago die at the hands of this virus, and are left no choice but to stay isolated in our homes, hoping we don't suffer the same fate. Let's dive deeper into how our lives have changed because of this virus. After the virus spread from Wuhan to the rest of the world and we were all left in a state of lockdown, we have had our lives changed way beyond our wildest imaginations. With the possibility of spreading the virus to innocent people we come across, it's become a responsibility for us to avoid going outside at all costs. So what do we take from this? With 634,000 dead so far and 16 million infected, it's mostly just bad news. But it would be a waste to not utilize this horrible situation. It may be very unfortunate, but what's the point if we don't try to make the most of it? Let's talk about what this whole situation has given us and taken from us. It's taken from us our freedom to go outside. It's snatched the lives of the people we love. It's taken away food, shelter, and jobs from many people across the world. It's done so much harm. But what it's given us is an opportunity to appreciate every normal thing that we have in our lives that we normally take for granted. It's given us the ability to understand how important the small things in life are, like going outside and taking in the beauty of the surroundings, like Asad Avenue and its beautiful trees, or the lake in Gulshan beside the Canadian High Commission where it's so peaceful to take a jog. After all of this, you finally understand the value of these little things that you have. Previously, you'd stay at home on your devices, refusing to go outside, but now that you no longer have the freedom to make that choice, the outdoors suddenly mean a lot more to you. Your family starts to matter more, now that you're taken over by the uncertainty of whether they'll still be there tomorrow. This situation has given us the realization that people aren't going to be there forever, and that we have to cherish them while they're still there, or regret once they're gone. Just like Maisha in class 5 of my school had to bear the loss of her mother. Or like how we seniors saw our English teacher Miss Aris succumb to this virus. Alongside that, this virus has given us more time than we know what to do with. People in lockdown post about how bored they are or how they have nothing to do when they're blind to the fact that they now have the time to try out and do that one thing they have always wanted to do but couldn't because they were too busy with school or coaching or their day jobs. If you want to learn coding or if you want to learn programming or VFX or filmmaking or anything at all, you can do that now. You have the time to actually sit down and learn those things. You can finish those books you bought which you couldn't finish simply because you didn't have the time to sit down and read them. Like how I actually finished the Crime and Punishment book Charlie Sir got for me last year. Or how I finally sat down and learned VFX. And how I spent time with my dad and my younger brother making dioramas in excruciating detail. Even the current project of making Green Herald in Minecraft with 12 of my friends, recreating the city of Dhaka having laughs along the way, as though we were actually hanging out like old times. These are all things that COVID-19 has given us. COVID-19 is a horrible thing to have happened to us, but like every cloud, it too has a silver lining. You see more and more activism posts nowadays, right? Why is that? Because 2020 is the worst year of the century? No. It's because now that we're not consumed by ourselves and have nothing to do all day, these things catch our attention. They've been happening for decades, but the world is finally starting to wake up to these sobering realities because they have nothing else to do. These are the good sides of this horrible situation, and I'm proud of the people who are making the most of this horrible situation. I'm glad that even though there are idiots out there who think that the whole situation is a hoax or that wearing masks is oppression somehow, humanity as a whole is more united. We have a better understanding for each other. We have a better sense of what's right and what's wrong, and I honestly believe, whether it's 2021 or 2024, we'll come out of this situation way stronger than ever before as one united world. 
as the best version of humanity.